What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 4 of our NLTK with Python for Natural Language Processing tutorial video. In this video we're actually going to be talking about something I think is really cool and exciting and that's part of speech tagging. So up to this point we've talked about pre-processing and stuff and, and part of speech tagging is pre-processing but the other stuff was kind of meh. This is cool, or at least to me. I hope it is to you too. So uh, we're going to be doing part of speech tagging it means just what it sounds. It's labeling the part of speech to every single word in a whatever you're feeding. So usually it's in a sentence, but you might feed in whole paragraphs if you wanted. So first of all, we're going to import NLTK. <clears throat> then we're going to go from NLTK.corpus. Lovely, lovely corpus. We're going to import state union. So these are state of the union addresses by various presidents over the last like 60 years or something. Actually, no, it's probably more like 70 years. Anyways, uh, NLTK is that union. That's good. And then from <clears throat> NLTK.tokenize, import, and we'll use a different tokenizer. Throw you guys for a loop. We're going to use the punct sentence tokenizer. So the punct sentence I can't even speak. The punct sentence tokenizer is a sort of un actually not sort of it is it's an unsupervised machine learning uh, sentence tokenizer learning yeah tokenizer uh, you can train it if you want it comes pre-trained but you can retrain it on other stuff if you so chose uh, we'll just probably just use the default one but I don't know I'll show you guys probably how to train it so maybe we won't um, and that's good enough for now now we're going to need to pull in um, Actually, we'll, we'll just keep NLTK because we're, we'll do NLT get a POS tag. So now what we want to do is let's get the sample text. And this will be state underscore union and then dot raw. So we're going to grab the raw text for what text? We want 2006 from GW Bush dot TXT. That will be fine. Now we're going to say the custom sent tokenizer. So this is how you would go about making your punk sent sentence tokenizer your very very own. Uh, so that will be equal to punk sentence tokenizer and we're going to kind of do something you probably shouldn't normally always do but this will be fine. Uh, custom sentence tokenizer is the punk second sent oh my goodness I can't even, I can't say this punk sentence tokenizer on sample text. So it's basically like you're training the punk sentence tokenizer on that text. You could bring through a different text. Uh, let's see, State of the Union, that should occur every year. So there should be um, train text 2005. There we go. We'll be legit about this. So custom sent tokenizer, punk sentence tokenizer, train text. Now we're going to say uh, tokenize equals, um, let's say tokenized equals, and that will be the custom sent tokenizer dot tokenize of sample text. Just a little much. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and start using some functions. <laughs> Define process content. Okay, so we're going to try accept exception as e here, and for now we'll just print out the string of e. So what we're going to try is we're going to say for i in tokenized. So this is just for each little element in the tokenized. We're going to say uh, words equals uh, NLTK dot word underscore tokenize. And we'll do I. So those will be the words. And then tagged now is the following NLTK dot POS underscore tag. And that will be words. Okay. So now for I and that, let's go ahead and print tag. That should do. Uh, mm, for, uh, hold on now. Everybody settle down. This is the whole State of the Union. So we might not want to do everything. For I and tokenized, this will be a sentence. So let's just do... Ah, uh, this will be fine. Let's do it. <laughs> Full steam ahead. 
This might be way too big. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, we're not processing the content. Let's let's call this function first. All right, now full steam ahead, everybody. Woo! <laughs> oh, how long did George W. Bush uh, yap on for uh, at the state of the? There we go. Okay, we made it all the way to the bottom. Awesome. Applause. <laughs> Okay, so let's just, I don't know, uh, you can go wherever you want. Let's go to the top so everybody can follow along. Uh, so President George W. Bush it gets that these are nouns before, uh, this is just too much, uh, courageous, JJ. So actually, now would be a good time to talk about what these little meanings are. Okay, so I'm looking at them, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Y'all are probably looking at these words like, mm, what? No, okay, so it, when you do this part of speech tagging, it will take and create tuples of the word and then the part of speech and instead of writing them all out I'm just gonna go and copy and paste them for you guys copy this come over here make some space and paste okay these are your part of speech tags so CC coordinating conjunction and then like NNP is a proper noun uh, then you've got, you know, verbs, so VB, VBDs, past tense, blah, blah, blah. The only one that's weird, I think, is R. Yeah, R is adverbs, so when you see that, you might not, like, in your head, like, when I see these, like, PRP, obviously, um, actually, I would say that's a preposition, uh, but the IN is our preposition. Um, so anyways, it's a good idea to have this around, because you can quickly confuse yourself, um, as I just did. So that's that. So we can come back over to our um, little output here. So now you can see, okay, noun, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fellow citizens today, courageous, blah, blah, blah. So what's courageous, for example? JJ, adjective, okay, so that was a success, good. Um, served, let's see, verb, good, good. America, good, got that. So anyway, you can go through and look at all of them, but for the most part, this actual part of speech tagging is like, mm, perfect. It is nice. It's going to mess up from time to time, especially on like, um, I'm trying to think of some good examples of when it messes up. Definitely on some nouns, like a lot of times it's not going to recognize nouns, especially if you're reading like Twitter. So eventually, we may or may not use Twitter as a data set. I'm c contemplating using like streams from Twitter, and you'll find that a lot of people do not capitalize their persons, right? So it, a lot of times, they'll have a person's name, but it's under lowercase, and NLTK is like, what is this? So that can be kind of a problem sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty darn good. So that's part of speech tagging pretty simple again most of what we did before we even got to part of speech tagging was just getting some data and getting some example sentences plus I wanted to show you the punct sentence tokenizer look at me saying it and also loading in uh, corpora like this uh, the State of the Union Ron George W. Bush again we'll be talking more about corpora's very soon because this is probably one of the biggest things that like I think probably most people that have used NLTK don't actually like go and look and see what they have in their corpora because it's actually our corpus. It's actually a lot of really good stuff in there, uh, a lot of golden nuggets, so to speak. So, anyways, uh, that's it for part of speech tagging. It's really quite simple. It really boils down to after you've uh, split by word, you can pass through the NLTK part of speech um, tagging. Now, um, no, nah, I won't show it to you yet. When we get to chunking, I'll show you how you can display everything. It's really pretty. Uh, so anyways, that's it for part of speech tagging. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, whatever, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.